And here we are for more of Let's Play Alien Syndrome. I lost my pea shooter, or I lost my laser, I'm back down to my pea shooter. This section has lots of little corridors you have to get through, and horrible cheap shots. The guy's coming right out of the ground now. They don't even let you know where they're coming from anymore. Little walking testicle creatures. What? That's what they look like. They look like walking scrotums with tails. What? You don't see it? Bullshit. Bunch of mouths on the walls, too. It's like a big goat sea palace. One thing you want to try to do, kill these guys as soon as they spawn. If at all possible. Ah, and don't take your hand off your controller. I'm gonna die now, aren't I? Indeed I am. I'm gonna back that up. No, don't touch the map. Don't touch the map. Grab the fireball, don't touch the map. Get the comrade, don't touch the map. Kill the testicle creature. Don't touch the map. Okay, I'm out of the vicinity now. Let's keep on going. No, get away. These guys are exactly as fast as you. So, unless you can turn around quickly and shoot them, or hope for them to turn around on their own, you are screwed. See? See what I say? These guys are fast and annoying, and I have a laser now. So all is right with the world. All is much better. Grab our comrade, and get the hell out of here. Get to the door. Nah, scrotum. Scrotum attack! Get scrotums off of me, I don't do that kind of thing anymore. No, don't touch me. Give another guy, can I find a map? Find a map anywhere, people? Come on. I think that's where the exit is. Let's head on to the corner. Come on, there's a map. There's a comrade here. And some bonus points. Alright. Ah, uh, no! Stop. Get out of the way. You can stay there, because you don't nerd out in my way. Get out of the bottom right corner, see if I can save some guys here. Kill some more scrotums. No! I reject a reality, and I substitute my own. Okay, you can go that way. I'm gonna save this comrade. Grab another laser. Doesn't do much. It's extra points, though. Check this map. Where's our last comrade? Crap! This is where the exit is. I should have gone to the top first. Shoot him! That's what I don't like about this D-pad. It's hard to control sometimes. No! Get out of the way! Open the door already! Ah, eh, he's stuck in the door. Ha ha! If you hit that warp, it'll take you right to the exit. So, you don't want to do that. Unless you know where you want to go. Let's go in this door. Where's our comrade? Hello! I'm here to save your ass. All these walking testicle beasts. No! It's not fair. Get off of me. Let's see if I can use this warp the easy way. Testicle creatures, warp time! And in we go. And it's a giant creature with multiple mouths, because aliens like to do that. We'll have to shoot him to get his mouth open. Well, you just shoot him when his mouth opens, really. No, not like that. Just 
stay far enough away from him. Okay, that didn't work. Stay out of the way. And if you're shooting too- if you're pressing the button too fast, you'll actually negate your lasers before they go far enough. Which is a bad thing to do, of course. This monster is called Titsi. But he doesn't put you to sleep, he eats you. Which most aliens tend to do, I think. No, not fireballs. Good dodge. Why don't I just shoot him from the left? Will that work? How do I stand here and shoot you like that? From the corner. When you open your mouth, I shoot you in the mouth. Open your mouth and let me shoot you. Shoot out your weapons. Right there. That's how you need to get him. What is that blue mouth thing that appeared down there? I don't know. But I got a one-up. And on we go to round six, the final round. The time bomb is set, and I have to rescue 12 comrades. And again, the monsters only take one shot to destroy. And again, everything looks like a giant anal sphincter. Get away from me. No, that's not right. That's not fair. No! Stop it! Take our map. Ah, yes, this area. This area is basically a giant spiral, and you want to check out every little section before moving on. Because that's where all the little com all the comrades are hiding. Our S didn't do anything. Thankfully, these guys like to stop before they shoot. Go around this corner before you go to the right to get this other comrade. Look out for the... Am I dead? Can I continue? Yes, indeed I can, so I'm just gonna do that. I don't have to worry about rewinding time the whole friggin' time. Yes. But I lost my points. Eh, whatever. Points don't... Points are meaningless. The points don't matter. Need to save this comrade here. Eh, get out of the way. Stop shooting at me. Stop trying to shoot. And shoot in the right direction, damn it. What am I paying you for, Ricky? Oy. That sphincter is getting ready to shoot stuff out. Get out of the way. What's with these craters and doors? I guess I'm on the planet or something, but I thought I was on a space station. Grab the laser. Save her. Who's in here? Fireballs. And more comrades. Ah, good. I need to check the map, see if I have everybody. Indeed I do. I have to go straight south and then turn around the corner. No! Save this comrade here. One more up uh, along this wall. No, no you don't. You're not getting me that easily. Flamethrower? I don't need you. I have my laser. Laser! Yes. Give me your points. Give me the money you are worth. Almost done. We got five more comrades to save, and then we go up to the final boss. Four. Let's sneak into this corner. No! That's not fair. No! Damn it. Sneak into this corner. Save this comrade. No! I was supposed to shoot you! I think that's everybody. Let's try the warp. Where does the warp take me? I don't know where I am. I think that just takes me out of here. What is this? 
this. I think that takes me out the way I came. Yeah, it does. Yeah, that's the one I needed. And we just have our two more comrades to save. I can't shoot through those craters. Which is unfortunate. Good, stay on the left side where you can't reach me. Nope, sphincter, no. Sphincter death. Worst way to go. One more comrade I need to save. Off in this corner. There he is. There we go. I killed you in a previous life. And we up against the final boss with no lives. How did I kill him? That's the proper way to kill him. to stay on the side of him, I believe. He shoots out the little green dudes. Can I continue from the boss, or do I have to start from the beginning? I have to start from the beginning, so I'm going to rewind. That's why emulators are awesome! You saw me beat the level, you know I can get through it again. Stop stomping on me! Try to get right underneath him, and if you have a laser then you can just kill those little globule dudes as they spawn. Or keep him on the right side of the screen and just aim for his little moving parts. Why would a creature evolve to make that the only thing you can hit? Why would his vitals be unarmored? What kind of sense does that make for an alien creature to evolve like that? No, stop stomping on me! That one was unavoidable, so I have to get out of the way. And he explodes into body parts! His face is all puffy and looks distended and f weird. But that's the end of round six. And they get an extra life, even though it doesn't mean anything. And here we go against King Kor! I believe the secret to beating him is you have to shoot his mouth, not only when it is open, but when it is up against the main body. Which means, yeah, this is gonna take a while. Thankfully, he has a very easy to recognize pattern. He moves in a circle of circles. So what can I talk about as I defeat this guy very slowly? Oh yeah, death. I don't like it. Just stand here as he moves slowly around. Try to shoot him in the face. He never adjusts his aim. He always shoots straight out. There's one more hit. I don't know how many times I have to shoot him, but you just gotta do it before the time runs out, really. He's closing in, so I gotta get out of the way. I'm gonna be able to stand here for a little bit. Come on, die already. Not that much of a threat to me. Get out of the way. The real threat to this guy is just getting bored, really. It's a very easy boss to defeat. You want to just keep your head about it, which he seems to have failed to do. Come on. Get out of the way now. He likes to sneak up on you and make it seem like he's less dangerous than he actually is. But like everything, like a lot of classic games, you die in one shot, but so do most of the enemies, so... No! Hitbox! Bullshit. Get out of the way. Look out for 
first fireballs, even though they... That's the only time you have to worry about them shooting you when you're on the bottom left side there. On the right side. Do I not even know my left and my right anymore? I graduated from elementary school. Come on. Die already. There. Did I prove I can kill you? Yeah, I proved I can kill you. That's why you're dead. And game clear, apparently. So... Wait, that's not Earth. Is it? Maybe. I guess that's like Japan and Russia and Australia there. No. Something crashed into the planet and blew it up. Epilogue. It is the year 2089. Earth Command Troopers Ricky and Mary have completed a dangerous mission to rescue their fellow troopers from the invading alien fleet. In the course of their mission, the brave troopers destroy the alien spaceships and their evil leaders, blasting them out of the galaxy. Ricky and Mary receive the Medal of Honor for their bravery, but the battle has only begun. And in the darkest reaches of space, millions of light years from their own territory, the aliens thirst for revenge. And when they return, Ricky and Mary will be there, ready to once again fight the alien syndrome. Wow, those, that, those credits moved fast. I had to talk pretty fast to get through that. That's it? Wow. That was a short number of people that made that game. 1987 Sega, presented by Tengen. Forward to the NES by Tengen. And uh, so, yeah, that's it, people. Bye-bye.